very quickly. I'm going to ask my friend Abraham Bullen, Bullinger, Abraham Bellinger, an incredible man of God, just to come for a few moments and talk to y'all just for a couple minutes. And I'm going to preach for about 10 and we're going to go home. Does that sound all right? Now, if y'all let me preach, I might preach 10 and a half minutes and preacher talk. That's about 15. But if y'all get quiet on me, I'm just going to keep preaching till all y'all leave. Amen. Give God a praise for my friend all the way from South Carolina. He's doing business down in Miami. Got to drive all the way back to Miami. Came to be a blessing tonight. Let's talk. Let him talk to us for about five minutes and greet us and speak a word to us. Let's give God a praise for him as he comes. Come on, let's give God the glory. Come on, stand on your feet. Let's give God the glory. Come on, the Bible says praise God in the sanctuary. Hallelujah. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and harp. Praise him with your tambourine. Praise him with your dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbal. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbal. And this is where everybody can take a part. Let everything, let everything, let everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Your breakthroughs in your praise. Your miracles in your praise. Your releases in your praise. While you are standing, while you are standing, there's a scripture that says, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. When I was a child, I was so inquisitive in school, and I remember my teacher showing me that if you take a magnifying glass, oh, y'all don't hear me, if you take a magnifying glass and you put a paper down on the concrete and you, you position that magnifying glass just the right way so that the sun's light will shine through it, it will increase the focus of the sun and it will magnify the power of the sun in that specific area. Oh, hallelujah. And what happened is I went home and I found my, my mother's magnifying glass and I went outside and I started playing with it. And I moved it a little bit to the left and to the right and and, 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 and you could see the rays of the sun just start to close in. And then all of a sudden it just got real small, almost like a pinpoint. And then in like two or three seconds the leaf caught on fire. And I'm all like, to, oh, see, see, something has, see, God is omnipresent. God is everywhere at all times, but something happens when you magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, you can put your problem in front of the magnification, and God will begin to burn that problem up. I dare you to put your poverty in front of the magnifying glass of the Son of God, and watch what will happen. Put your sickness in front of God. Put your problem in front of God. Put those things that you want to be delivered from in front of God, and watch what God will do. Oh, magnify. Magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt. Let us exalt. Let us exalt his name together. I believe. I believe. Tomorrow's Thursday. You got Thursday. You got Friday. You got Saturday. I dare you, I challenge you to consecrate yourself over the next three days. And everything that you ask God for, you watch what God going to do. God going to open the doors that no man can shut. He going to fill up your pocketbook. He going to fix your family situation. He's going to cause you to have favor. Not only with him. I don't know who this is for. You got favor with God, but the Bible says he's going to give you favor with men, with your enemy. Somebody's, oh, somebody's enemy is going to come bless them before Sunday. The person the enemy's been using the most to fight you, God is going to use that same person to bless you. Oh, magnify the Lord. with That's enough reason right there for you just to take 10 seconds and cut a step in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking the yoke. God is breaking the chain. God is setting loose uh, those who are captive uh, in everything that you need. It's in your praise. Hallelujah. 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 
That's what he said. So if I make God big, oh, magnify the Lord. Let us exalt him. So if we all make him big in your life, he gets small. Which means when I make him big, when I magnify the sun, it causes his power to pinpoint on my power. So if he's everywhere all the time, I don't need him everywhere all the time. I need him right now. I need him in this time. Somebody clap your hands, open up your mouth, and magnify the Lord. I'm preaching that. Just close to just letting them go.